Hello, this is Dean Takahashi from VentureBeat. I'm here with Glenn Edens of Range Networks. How are you doing, Glenn? I'm really good. How about yourself? So you used to be at Sun Labs, or, yes, uh, Sun Microsystems, yep. and, uh, heading those labs. And uh, you uh, are now at Range Networks. So tell us about uh, what, you got, what you got here. It's the big so, box here. Uh, yeah. Range Networks is a manufacturer of mm -hmm. network equipment. Mm -hmm. So we're a network equipment provider. Mm -hmm. We make really low cost and power efficient cellular base stations. Mm -hmm. So we're taking GSM to parts of the world where it has never been able to go to before. Mm -hmm. So there's about 2.7 billion people mm -hmm. that live on less than $2 a day. Mm -hmm. There's about 4 billion people that have no cellular service in the world. Mm -hmm. And with our uh, base station, we can actually allow an operator to run a profitable cellular service for 2 to $3 a month. Mm -hmm. And as you know, in the development world, the prices are stuck at about $30 a month, mm -hmm. at the bare minimum. Uh -huh. So this is a full power base station. Uh -huh. This particular base station uh, can support an area of about 30 to 40 square miles. Uh -huh. So it's mainly dependent on antenna height. Mm -hmm. We are also uh, showing a micro cell. Uh -huh. So this base station would handle an area of say five square miles, uh -huh. or it can handle this entire convention center, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're kind of showing the guts, which, mm -hmm. you know, in this day and age, it's odd, it's rare to do a hardware startup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, you really can do the, the same thing as this box in a much smaller amount of space and uh, yeah. lots of not smaller cost as well. Then. Much more, and, and the big difference is this one has the big power amplifier uh -huh. and all the telco equipment for backhaul, mm -hmm. whereas this one you just hook Ethernet to it uh -huh. and it obviously has a much lower range. We also even have and you're transferring systems. the calls like there were voice over internet calls instead exactly. of like uh, uh, calls over the cell phone network, which uh, would be more expensive, I guess, to, to transfer, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so if, if you're a carrier, mm -hmm. we support the GSM spec, so any phone will work. Mm -hmm. It's a fifteen dollar low cost phone for the developing world, mm -hmm. or you know, an Android or an iPhone. Mm -hmm. So we support the full GSM spec yeah. over the air. Mm -hmm. And then in our base stations, we convert GSM to voice over IP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so coming out of our system, we look just like a soft switch. Mm -hmm. So we eliminate the base station controllers, mobile switching centers, all sorts of arcane and, mm -hmm. and complicated gear that would traditionally make up a telco network. Mm -hmm. So we basically replace the core network with the internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're talking about deploying this in a lot of uh, developing areas. Um, uh, you know, I, I would like to have two dollar a month cellular service in uh, in Silicon Valley. Can you do that too? <laughs> well, the problem with the developed world uh -huh. is the licenses are all spectrum auctions, uh -huh. and so the frequencies are owned by big companies like AT and T and Verizon. Uh -huh. Now, if you're in an underserved area, mm -hmm. there actually is a vehicle for getting a license. So if you're in Vermont uh -huh. and you don't have service, mm -hmm. many cities are starting to start their own cellular networks. In California, it's a little hard to do because it's pretty well covered. Uh -huh. But um, uh, so that leaves your opportunity in a lot of these other places where people um, just have no other choice. I guess they. Yeah, we, we tend to sell mm -hmm. to private network operators, which are oil fields, mines, large farms, resorts, uh, villages. Uh, we sell to carriers who are operating in some of these underserved areas. But we're starting to get some traction with the big carriers because we do allow them a really inexpensive way to to. Uh, provide service in their even developed areas. Mm -hmm. cool. That sounds very disruptive. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>